You'll see those. So you'll hear Philip, Philip Thompson with the bullets. He talks to them all, he's got his uh, big bullet whip. He's giving them a bit of instruction, coming around the inside as they all listen, as we said, the way the neck. Let's get a fussy and family and crew up in there. Give them a wave as they come past and take photographs. That wagon had their lady, lady Pearl from uh, down in New South Wales, but also spending time in Western Queensland with the Fuller family. He's got his five hey, and three at the front, two at the back. Give them a round of applause as they come past, ladies and gentlemen. And again, yes. In that team of five horses on the Lady Pearl, you've got three mares in the front. You've actually got a juvenile colt in the offside on the pole, and he's behaving beautifully. He has done all weekend. So that's a real credit to the Dunnest horses and, and their training. And next next we've got uh, yeah Philip Thompson with his with his team of working bullets. So them down already he's got the mid lock. And then we've got some of our uh, junior and our ridden classes you'll see all of them superbly presented again. And uh, have a look at the fancy dress and again having a look at those that are coming past you just they give them away and put your the hands day. together and say how magnificent they look for 2023. They'd love to hear from you. From Pershaw on, so we have draft and flight sales. We also have the shires and we have some freezing. You'll see all of these at varied ages. And uh, just watching closest to the fence and the big top, the competitor side saddle there, ladies and gentlemen. So how wonderful is that? Little the way it used to be when they rode into town. They have little four-wheel buggies, and we have we'll have some two-wheel buggies as well. As they come in fancy dress and regalia, we said we'll have some freezers and colours. But again, looking superb. Could you have to agree that uh, the effort and the time, as people show their appreciation, it must make those competitors feel tough. Absolutely. These people are here because they love their horses and they love sharing their horses with everybody. It takes a lot of work to train them, prepare them, bring them out, cut them up. So um, it's great to see so many people here um, enjoying Someone the horses surfing. because everybody <laughs> here loves sharing them. And we have to also uh, say it's an educational down memory lane because side saddle and riding into town are working implements as wow. you see with the people here. That's how we opened up Australia in the pioneering days of farming. It's great to see all those old traditions maintained. You'll see Bob Rattrace coming past the bar now. That's a Suffolk Punch horse, everybody. They're an endangered breed. Mm. Bob's driving a slide, which was a fairly common um, farm implement used around the property. And even <laughs> we learned last year that the wool wagons used to go to the top of Cunningham's Gap and they would unload the bales of wool, take them down the gap on a slide, load them back onto a wagon at the bottom and then take them down to Brisbane. So. The slide has played a huge part in our agricultural history. Um, long running, of course, the, the Clyde coming along behind Bob there. That's a, um, yeah, being long reined, it's the first step into a harness career. You know, you might use that horse for ploughing, you might sneak logs, etc. Um, we've got a pair coming through on, on a cultivator. The um, Sullivan family have come up from Casino. They're a big supporter of the, of the heavy horses and the working horses all around New South Wales and, and Queensland. They always have beautifully presented horses and they, and they work beautifully. Um, the 